Alright, today I guess decided to make myself <clears throat> a tailstock die holder. So, got two sets of dies here. Big one and a small one. Problem is this wrench that I have is just way too big for swinging on the lathe. So, um, uh, got some stuff chucked up and uh, gonna take a few measurements and see if we can't make something here. So as Tom Lipton says, we're gonna make a chicken sketch. Okay, there's the famous Ox Tool Co. inspired chicken sketch for my tap holder my die holder rather. I'm gonna mop this thing in my chuck because I don't feel like cutting a taper for it and uh, for what I do the chuck ought to be fine. So let's get to it. Change where the camera is and we'll start making this thing. Alright so first thing we gotta do is just get a clean face on this Piece of 1018. Alright, next we got to drill a hole so we can get the boring bar in there. And the chicken sketch says that has to be 625 deep. I think I'm going to use an end mill, center cutting end mill, to give me a flat bottom hole. So we'll set that up and see what happens.
good. It's 600. I'm gonna lock it there. All right. Done with the milling. Got enough room to get the boring bar in there now, and the the bottom of the hole is flat. So we're gonna switch the boring bar now on the lathe. And uh, mill this sucker out to uh, two inches. I think I'm going to put a shorter bar in here. This thing's squealing like a hog. We'll uh, get this set up and be back. Alright, much better. a lot better. Okay, the boring is done. Die fits in there good. So, I think we're going to knock it off for the day. Got to cut me a ring for the smaller one, and then uh, just turn the shank down. Put a hole through the center. I don't know how big we're going to make that hole, but the shank's going to be a half inch, so it can't be that much bigger. All right, next time.